My name's Otis Ingrams, I'm a leather worker and I work in London. My Takumi object is a leather chair that's been inspired by the Lexus LC. I've been a leather worker for six years now. Part of the Lexus LC that I focused on was the interior panel of the door. It's incredibly sculptural, it's got very nice smooth appearance and it's got really nice flowing lines. It was trying to mix the sense of speed, dynamism, the sort of sense of acceleration that you get just from sitting in the car or looking at it and trying to translate that onto a piece of furniture. I think from start to finish, I probably spent 100 hours on, on the piece. Stitching is all hand done and then everything has to be hand finished. Very little machinery was used past the point main body of the piece was made. During the production process, nothing comes out perfect first time, so it's the challenge of trying to produce something that's incredibly polished, whilst at the same time only really having one shot at doing it. So I've selected the scale of the piece first. I blew it up to the size at which I knew I could use the full cowhide, quite rare in a piece. Once you then have your templates, they all have to be scored and then cut out really carefully. Depending on how you're working with the leather, it has to be skived and you can either do that manually or with a machine, but that has to be very carefully done and you're really feathering the edges of down to you know, half a mil. The leather's smoothed out and stretched around the frame. It's then glued into place and then stapled where it needs to be. And then the edges are then very carefully seamed together. A tool called a pricking iron is used to mark out all the stitch lines around the edge. The thread is then cut, we use a, a natural linen thread, run through beeswax, threaded through a needle, and that is being threaded through the whole piece. And you're using a knife to remove the excess. A guideline has to be run around the edge. The edges are then beveled, rubbing a wax solution onto the edge. That's burnished, you're getting a high shine on the edges. That really brings the piece together. Leather is a very special material for me because it has huge potential. You can use it for almost anything in a wide range of other materials. So the selection of the leathers is really important. It has to be suitable for what you're working with. I chose a, a, a really thick leather for this because I wanted it to have that structure and I wanted it to have that generosity and that like a, quite a firm feel when you're sitting in it. So really, you can tailor it to produce anything you want on the other side. I feel that the Takumi craftsmanship is still relevant today and will always be relevant. It always means a lot to see when there's been a human interaction. Another reason why I chose this design was to mimic the sort of synthesis of that traditional and modern production. So you have the advanced machinery that are producing these incredibly complex shapes and then coupling that with the traditional handcrafts and hand tools, fusing those two things together. So the reason why I did this running stitch on this piece is because you can't replicate that on a machine. It's very clearly done by hand. I think that there'll always be a need for craftsmanship because no matter how complex or how difficult a piece has been made by computer-aided design or robots or machinery, those pieces are always quite distinctly lacking in human quality. I think the piece has been a success in that regard. It does reflect a lot of the parts of the car. I'd read that the level of craftsmanship in the Lexus upholstery was sort of second to none and they spend a really long time focusing on that, making sure that it's the most comfortable, it's got the best stitching, they use the best hides for it. So I kind of wanted to translate that. I really did enjoy the whole project, but the satisfaction of producing something as difficult as this, or technically difficult as this, is really, really rewarding.